you have two daughters, you have many granddaughters. If one of them was raped, and I, I accept it's a very unlikely thing to happen, but if they were, would you honestly look at them in the eye and say they had to have that child if they were impregnated? Now, if, if it's an honest rape, um, that individual should go immediately to the emergency room. I would give them uh, a shot of estrogen. Congressman Paul, we're here uh, speaking on the farm here uh, with uh, Frank Connor from Mystery Science Theater 3000, who just had a big show last night at the Saban Theater in Beverly Hills, huh? Titanic. Beverly Hills, God, they are comedy oh. vultures. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now on the phone with us, you know, you've heard the big, uh, big problem that's happening for uh, Congressman Aiken in Missouri. He <clears throat> he was referring to a woman. Uh, it's an abortion discussion. Mm -hmm. He said, well, if it's a legitimate rape, and we have on the phone mm -hmm. right now the uh, king of, uh, <coughs> of the legitimate rape speak. It's, uh, it's uh, Congressman Ron Paul. Congressman, thanks for being with us. <coughs> uh, well, thank, uh, thanks for having me, Jimmy. I don't really know if I care for that introduction you gave me, but um, <laughs> it's really it's a pleasure to be here on your, on your program or, or whatever this is exactly. I'm not sure. I don't know. Now, now, Congressman, we uh, we played a clip earlier of you uh, referring to a rape if, as an honest rape, if a woman has an honest rape, because it speaks to your hypocrisy over abortion, because you said it's okay if it's well, right I away. Wouldn't say, I wouldn't say uh, hypocrisy. I mean, it's very simple. I was talking about a dishonest rape, as, as I'm sure this, this uh, what, what? I mean, honest rape. I'm sure it's a legitimate rape. Congressman Atkins was saying the same thing. Yeah, but what, what, what is what would you what is a legitimate? What is an honest rape? Well, it's opposed to a dishonest rape, where <laughs> what's a dishonest? Where you know she says she says yes, but she means no. Oh, oh that's a dishonest <clears throat> rape. Yes, it, it, it's a horrible thing if you've ever been a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like the Republicans have, are trying to bring levels of integrity to rape. Yes. Yeah. What, it, what is that about? Well, I don't understand. Well, at least to the level of dishonest rape, maybe. I mean, it's not. Yeah. So now give us some give us some credit. Have you ever been involved in a dishonest rape? Well, no, I mean, you know, I was in the service. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of drinking, and you're overseas, and there's a language barrier in a lot of these places. You know, it's not okay. like. Okay, well, we got we got you on the record speaking mm. about the dishonest or honest rape, and now mm. we want to move on because uh, we also saw last week. Now I got a lot of grief from your followers on this because we played. Oh, the I clip. bet you did, Buster. <laughs> they're, they're an animated bunch. They are. They cer They certainly are an animated bunch. Now, mm. what happened Especially was I showed online. That's when they really come to life. When's that? Especially online, that's when they really come to life. Yes, yes. They're, they're more animated than a Chuck Jones cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, older, a lot of them. So, uh, so Congressman Paul, um, we, we showed the tape of you with Sam Stein on from Morning Joe, where you admitted to taking Social Security. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, let me just ask you, how do you respond to that? Well, I mean, I guess I would say that it's basically an unfair question. <laughs> well, well, how is it an unfair question? Well, well, I'm basically because it made me look bad. That's why. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's just not really fair. People are taught, you know, people, uh, American people are tired of gotcha journalism. You know, they just try to ask, you know, corner you with questions that, that, that you know, make make you look bad. You know, people don't want to hear about that. They want to hear about smaller government and, and, and the government getting out of our lives. You, you, yeah, but you're, you're going against your core convictions, Congressman, by taking Social Security, aren't you? Well, I mean, uh, maybe technically, but, but the point is, I mean, asking that question undercuts my argument. You know, that's just <laughs> sort, of a, sort of an unpleasant thing for me to be involved with in the morning. You know, I was early. <laughs> I mean, that was before I even had my morning constitutional. <laughs> are, you a, uh, are you a strict morning constitutionalist? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I need to be consistent, you know, across the board. Mm -hmm. So I just, want to get, I just want to get this straight uh, uh, for, your, for your followers who careen me online. You are against... Yeah, they'll be coming for you after this one, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> you are against 
Social Security, yet you are taking it at the same time. So you're publicly deriding it, but privately taking it. Well, the, I'm against the government giving away money like that. I'm not against an individual taking it if the government is giving it away. See the difference? No. <laughs> no, I don't see the difference. Let's move on. Let's move I on. I so, think I was making a serious point there. I'm not sure. So personal responsibility is taking the things that are given to you. Is that, did you, well, someone down the street handing out money, I mean, you're probably going to go take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Now, let's, uh, are you looking forward to the Republican convention that's happening in Tampa this year? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, whether or not I'm allowed to speak, I guarantee you uh, the Ron Paul army uh, will be there in force. Yeah. It's like the KISS Army, but they actually have guns. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you really do have some hardcore supporters. Yeah, they, they hate your ass, brother. <laughs> yeah. They really do. They, they hate me. They do hate well, me. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you don't follow, uh, you know, you don't subscribe to the rules of the Ron Paul Club. But what are the rules of Ron Paul? What are the rules of Ron Paul Club? Well, the first rule of Ron Paul Club is to talk to every person you know about Ron Paul until they don't want to be friends with you anymore. <laughs> What's the second rule? And the rule? second rule of the Ron Paul Club is you talk to every person you know about Ron Paul until you, they don't want to be friends with you anymore. <laughs> is, there, is there a third rule of Ron Paul? Uh, yeah, the third rule of the Ron Paul Club is, you know, don't worry about what you're wearing or what you look like. Just, you know, walk into whatever place you feel like going. <laughs> okay. Just take your white dreadlock cargo shorts ass right into the courthouse. Who cares? <laughs> okay. Now, is there, does there happen to be a fourth rule at all? Uh, black people are animals. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Say it again. You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you believe, uh, if, if you were president, would you cut government funding for the KISS Army? <laughs> well, I, have, I, I, th I would have to because all these, you know, adventurous, you know, this adventurism that like, overseas and other countries the KISS Army is engaged in is extremely expensive. I mean, they're heavy set people. That's a lot of fuel costs <laughs> to get them, you know, overseas and all their makeup and, uh, you know. Whenever they show up in an area, you know, that area shuts down economically. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a cost on that population. Okay. I, I really hate kids. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, Congressman, I really appreciate you taking time out for us today. Well, you know, it's always about you. <laughs> <laughs>